Vegetarian cat still only eating his pellets. There's nothing else he wants to eat. This little one, it's got a chicken there, one of the tiger's chickens, and they absolutely love it. It's not very glamorous, but they really do like it. So, let's go see what the tigers are up to. A vegetarian cat eating a lot of pellets. <laughs> Before I actually realized that he ate only those pellets, he was eating so much of it. When I picked him up, I could feel his stomach was huge. And, yeah, so, oh well, let's see what happens with him. Diego, <coughs> Enzo really loving the chickens. But, Diego does not like it at all. I think he is going to go on a little bit of a hunger strike. He does not want it. He's got four chickens lying around here and he's just not hungry. So I've got some other stuff for him there. I'll wait a while. If he's really not going to eat it, I'll make a plan. But he used to love this. I just think when I got all that red meat and I fed them that for a couple of days, uh, well, Diego got spoiled a little. Because that was really good meat. And uh, he did enjoy it a lot. So Enzo feasting on a chicken there. These chickens have all died of natural causes. It's ones that when they, well, every day there's a few that dies. And when they take it out amongst the others, they're not allowed to be sold for human consumption. They need to be disposed of. And what better way to feed the tigers? So yeah, I don't know what Diego is up to, but I don't actually want to go there. I don't want to bother him too much. But yeah, I don't think he's going to come eat now. I'm going to give him some time. Enzo just packing it in. Well, he's at least at number six. Maybe five, but I think it's number six. And these are huge chickens. They were fully grown. So Enzo is just taking care of it. I can hear some of the people that's coming to pick up the monkeys. Calling their monkeys there. So I think Diego is a bit preoccupied with watching the monkeys go home. Daisy over here, <laughs> she is such a thin dog. Those little puppies are draining her and she is eating constantly. I am feeding her all the time. So <laughs> she looks terrible, but believe me, she is getting a lot of food and milk and everything that she can eat. So. Yeah, well, let's watch Enzo a little bit. One thing that I can tell you about feeding tigers chickens, you have to cut the legs. Those toenails are very sharp on the chickens. Daisy's making a noise now. I'm going to go open up for her quickly and then I'll be back. Daisy, shh. And just quickly let her go through. Okay, that's going to be better. So, what I've noticed when Enzo used to eat these chickens a lot, if you don't cut off the legs by the knee, then they vomit. Because those nails on the chickens are so sharp, I think it irritates the stomach. And they can't dissolve it or 
and get rid of it quick enough so those nails stay sharp and every time I used to go inside and I walk around the back so I see that Enzo did vomit from it so and I analyzed it and I saw that those chicken legs were the problem they can eat it but it's the toenail the toenail part is very sharp and they eat it tigers are tough but they're not that tough they are a bit vulnerable as well also the heads I do cut off the heads the reason for that is when you freeze it you have to be able to get it out of the freezer again and the legs and the heads makes it very difficult to get it out and uh, also the beak of the chicken is very sharp very hard and it is very easy to hurt them well that's when they're carrying 10 kilograms of meat in their stomach you know the pressure on the side walls are tremendous and the beak or the toenails can very easily harm them so yeah, that's just more of my experience Enzo's not having trouble eating all of these chickens. I'm going to have to get something else for Diego. Luckily, I didn't feed them all the food I had for them last month. So Diego will slowly have to get used to this. These tigers of mine are getting very good food always. And they are a bit spoiled. So, it's difficult for me to just give them just anything they really they really enjoy eating and yeah that is a, a problem if they just want to eat nice stuff of course it's expensive but they do get a lot of good meat another thing where they do their business there will be a lot more wastage because of the full chickens so um, there will be a lot of uh, bones from the chickens left uh, that did not get dissolved if it stays longer in the tiger it will get dissolved but there's a lot more waste with the food i had for them uh, last month that that was actually red meat steak where the butchers uh, fridge did go off and they had to get rid of it that meat had almost no wastage so I only had to go and pick up after them once a week and they were eating every day so totally different scenario now with these chickens they are going to be going to the bathroom a lot more because there's a lot more wastage feathers I'm not really sure about the feathers yet I do pluck them and the thing is if you don't you have to pick it up inside the enclosure it doesn't look nice and uh, if there's too much the wind blows it all around so I try and pluck them before I feed the tigers and they actually say that there is nutritional value in it I haven't searched searched it yet I don't really know. I will research it a bit. Uh, well, I'm not going to feed the tigers chicken feathers. That I can assure you. But the chicken feathers also help with the defrosting. Because when I put those chickens in the fridge and we freeze it up, we tend to, when we have to remove them, it's easier to remove when there's feathers on. Because you have a lot of trouble removing it if it's just solid chickens without any feathers. When they're frozen, it's difficult to get them loose. So yeah, those are just a few little thoughts on the chickens. Enzo loves it. He is so happy. And Diego hasn't eaten one. So Enzo's eaten all of his. And Diego's got one left. So, 
Yeah. I'm going to have to get Diego something else. Ah, he yeah, is walking circles around that one. I think he has reached his limit. He's just eating because it's nice now. <laughs> this cat is watching him. She cannot believe how much he is eating. And there Diego comes, comes out. Let's see if he takes that chicken. No, he walks straight around it. He does not feel like eating. <laughs> He's still friendly. He wants to just pass. Oh, Diego! I'm gonna see if I, I'll get something else for him. I do have some in mind. Abuta. He just said, Enzo ate all my chickens. He is walking around it. He does not want to eat those chickens. Come on, Buddha. No. Oh, well, guys, let's see what happens. I'm going to stop this video around about here. I think Enzo is just going to finish that chicken and then move on to the next. But, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed that, subscribe, watch my older videos, and share these videos, especially the shorter ones, uh, the classic ones, they are quite good, uh, there's a lot of people that enjoy them, uh, the longer ones, I don't know, I think you have to be into tigers to appreciate them, but, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.